come back in here. So, not we can actually try something different. We're gonna try something very different. I just first want to get the. And to get back to the base so we can see, figure out how we're gonna do this. What the last two builds that I have now? Realized. That. I don't actually know anything about this game. I realized I don't actually know that much about this game. More specifically about how to best build my character, how to best build something. So I want to try something. Both of the builds that I have been running, the SRS and the um, Tornado Arrow. Lightning Arrow, Tornado Arrow. Light, tornado Arrow. Both of those were builds that I had. Guides that I were following. And more specifically, if you have a look at my gear, this is gear that was given to me and created to me by one of my viewers, uh, Maestro Chan, an absolute legend of an individual. Only problem is, I don't know how he made it. I don't know how he made it powerful. I don't know what he did to get it to the point where it is now. And that means a problem because it means I the perfect example of he did everything for me. It means I never learned how to do it myself. It means down the line now I'm sitting in a situation where I don't quite know how to do this. Which spells are good, which weapons are good, which equipments are good, what's good, what's not good. And that's a problem for me. It means that nowhere am I learning. Nowhere have I learned a new skill. So the thing that I want to do above everything else right now is see if I can't take a random skill, something that is not necessarily meta, random skill, and see if I can't build a somewhat decent build that will get me towards Act 10, and then obviously into the end game. Now, that being said, there's a couple of things that I need to have a look at. Some of these skills require certain levels to use, level 12, level 10, etc, etc. However, as far as I know, the top row is all requires level. And I want to see if I can't get a gem that's available for me now. It's not normally ne necessarily available to me from the very beginning of the game and see if I can't use that to build it around something. Now, unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to read through a couple of these things. And I'm not sure which way I want to go yet either. Do I want to go the hunter route? Do I want to go the route? Do I want to go the number order? The duelist? The templar? I'm not sure. So fireball, spark, freezing pulse, frostbolt, blight, purifying flame. Over. These are all things you get relatively early. Now, what I'm looking for is both single and single target damage as well as crowd control. So in the red, we have got ground slam, cleave, glacial hammer, heavy strike. Molten Strike, Smite, Perforate, Field Crash. I would love to see the Cyclone Bolt be still a valid build or not, but I honestly don't know. The Cyclone. And also, the problem on top of that is I need a minimum level 28 to be able to use it, which is kind of going to rule that out. Cast the bleed, root and support. So let's have a look. We have got ground slam, cleave, glacial hammer, heavy strike, molten strike, smite, perforate, and shield crest. 
perforate I've always thought could be good. But I'm not sure. And the green skills, we have got double strike, dual strike, caustic arrow, ice shot, split arrow, viper strike, burning arrow, ethereal knives, spectral throw, frost blades, galvic arrow, and explosive breath. Cobra lash and splitting steel. Now, one of these ethereal knives fires an arc of knives outwards in front of the caster, which deals physical damage. Could be interesting. Spectral throw. Oh, uh, frost blades attacks enemies with increased range, releasing icy blades from the first enemy, which fly at enemies. Requires a new. Fireball, ray, zombie, spark, freezing pulse, frozen magma, frost bolt, blight. A wave of divine fire deals damage in a line. Uh, storm blast, mind, connect mind. You know what? I think I'm just gonna do this. Whatever you want to do. Two of those. We're just going to do that. And then Cobra Lash and Splitting Steel. Animate Dead. Animate Weapon, Dash. Sniper Blaster and Sniper's Mark. Dash as well. Most of all. Flame total, access to protection, wall banners, still clean, blood and sand. Uh, flame dash. Am I missing something? Dash, arch dash, flame dash. There we go. So I have just bought a metric fuck ton of gems. I'm going to take all of them into my stash and we are going to potentially do something very stupid. But somewhere I need to learn, somewhere I need to figure out how I'm going to do this all on my own. And the only way I'm going to do that is right. So I think the best place to do it is to dump all of these. All of this inside here, put away this currency, and then move it next to character selection screen. And now, because I don't know which skill I want to use, we're going to go standard loot, and we're going to use the sign. Mind, body, and grace, the crowning glory of our civilization, offering us hope, offering us light, but you gave us only murder. And darkness. May Rayclass embrace you as we cannot in your very prison. Okay, so once again, I'm not expecting us to get very far with this. This is not a tutorial on how to do something. I am trying to understand it. I am trying to learn more about this. And the only way that that's going to happen is to travel there. I got spectral throw. So spectral throw, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, literally just throws the weapon forward. Look, and then we can get to Linus, and then we can actually grab all of the um, skills that we've got. And go test them out. See what they look like. They might be good, bad. I won't be able to tell until I've tried it some point I need to be able to say listen yeah I know what the hell I'm doing because right now especially with the last two builds I have been relying too much on somebody else's knowledge but it's knowledge that is not a sticking it's knowledge that I'm not retaining myself and I feel like the only way that's going to happen is through trial and error 
gonna draw you this way. Let's grab you. Yeah, okay, I'm here. You today, and then we're just gonna move. Welcome to Linux. Thank you. Now, the next step is probably gonna seem very stupid to most people. I can strike split it. I can control and clicking to stay here. I'm just going to take that. Farewell. Now the reason why I chose the sign is because the sign is nice and square in the center of the board. However, it does bring its own challenges. Sign is a balance of activity, intelligence, strength, and dexterity. So it either means I'm going to be strong. The way I understand it is I'm either going to be strong in every single aspect or I'm going to be really weak in every single aspect. I don't know. And that's why we're here. That's what I need to try and figure out. So the first thing I'm going to do, and which is why I did what I did, is I am going to sell that, that, that. I'm not going to sell that. No, I'm not going to sell that. Except that. Yeah, and I'm going to grab 16 of those. Take those. That over there. That over there. Here's the next box. I'm going to grab all of these skills. And I'm going to test them. Every single one of them. And see which skill looks well. interesting to me. And then on top of that, we are going to grab a chest piece. Because that way I get some cold resistance, and I've now got all three colors. Do I want something with movement speed? It doesn't look like there is. And then also, what kind of weapon do I want to go for? I want a wand? Do I want a bow? These are the kind of decisions that I'm going to have to make. Now, I'm going to take, take a bow. And I'm going to grab a wand. That way I've got a little mix of everything. It doesn't have to be a good wand. Just an amazing wand. It just has to be a wand. Farewell. Now that we've got to the coast, we're going to slowly but surely start trying all of them. So let's start off with the red first. So we've got Molten Strike. Molten Strike is easy. Jump attack. Smack something and burns. Have completed ones, we're gonna put in the corner. Then we've got heavy strike, which I'm guessing is strike that's heavy. Have then got glacial hammer, which I can't use because glacial hammer has to be used on a mace, scepter, or staff. So I think it's good to go inside here and let's just grab a mace, scepter, or staff. Welcome. So two handed mace. Oh, there's a scepter. We'll grab that. Have a glacial hammer onto there. And we can test it. Stay sharp out there. So, uh, question. Skill can't be used. Why can't it be used? Take that off. Now it can be used. Glacial hammer. Okay. Back. Take that off. This can't be used at the same time. However, it can be used. Oh. 
Okay, so Kenobi Spectral Throw, and we know that that is Rhythmic Burst Support. Okay. Let me put Ground Slam. Which has to be used on a Mace, Spectre, Scepter, or... Oh, sorry, Ground Slam. There's a possibility there. What kind of damage is that doing? That's doing 12 DPS. Okay. I think the ones that I am maybe deciding on keeping. I put on some, some ground slam. Maybe. That goes in the maybe slot. Perforate. Can't use it because perforate has to be on sword axle. Nah, this is the problem. I know for a fact I don't want heavy strike. I know for a fact I don't want glacial hammer. I know for a fact I don't want heavy strike. I know for a fact I don't. Okay, maybe spectral throw. Ground slam. And I know for a fact that prisoner burst support. Not interested in that right now. Earth rate is a maybe. Let's see what I can test while I'm still active. Move is also needed on a axle source. So I can't test that. So we have to come back to that. We might. So smite does 20 dps, performs a melee attack and causes lightning to strike a nearby enemy, giving damage in an area. Each target can only be hit once by the skill, hitting an enemy grants damage requires a sword out. Never seen that before. I'm guessing I'm going to have to start testing this against actual things to see how they perform. Grab. Not horrible. Not horrible, not horrible, not horrible. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Shield crash. Shield crash needs to be used in conjunction with the shield. In area damage. No, not interested in that. Now, I know we're not seeing anything in the ground right now, but that's because I've just got my filters. I got my fold on the wrong. This needs to be. Oh, cool. So we can actually see what the house doing. So, regular self. Fine. That stuff's gonna stay on the floor there. I'm not planning on grabbing it. So now let's move over to that. So out of the blue, we've got a kinetic bolt. So kinetic bolt can change direction in a zigzag patterns uh, at regular intervals. And hitting enemies each time it changes direction, the secondary projectile breaks off. By the direction it changed the way. This is attack, so this is a projectile, so this is not spell or AoE. Okay, maybe. Freezing pulse, no. We always do freezing pulse. Fear pie, flame, if that's what I'm thinking of, I'm not gonna do it. Yep, not gonna do it either. It's one everybody wants. Flame dash, can't use yet. I need level 10 for that. Dash, I need level 4 for that. Burning magma, I'm not gonna use either. Every Raise zombie. A corpse which will allow you to attack enemies and a strike. Question I only do this on bodies. Could be good, could be interesting, but we stay away. They just stick around, they don't actually disappear. It's nice, I think. It means that 56% life. Raise a zombie, a corpse which will follow you and attack enemies with a strike. How much damage do they do, does it say? I don't know how much damage they do. It's maybe an option. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me move all this stuff up. Look at Frostbolt. What does this? That's slow as all balls, but what does it actually do? That's interesting. Iron ring. Yeah, keep that on. No, why not? How much damage do you do? Okay, so you just float through things. 
No, no, you're probably gonna like that. No. Not interested. No. Uh, I can think. What does this do? Could be good, but it's got almost no range to it. And it does 17 damage, and it's a continuous drain. It might be something. I've never tried that. Spark, we all know. It's good. But everybody. Blight. What is blight? Oh god, okay. That eats my damage. Applying a debuff to enemies in front of you. Chaos damage over time. Enemies you aren't ready to debuff blight or just needed for short. Let's test it. Let's see what it does to something. So it doesn't do the most damage in the world. But maybe that's one of those things that starts on shit and would eventually get stronger. It's a maybe. Fireball, nope. Lightning tendril will switch us that. Okay, so that's that one. Did I buy two of those? Yes, I did. Okay, and then Storm Blast. Storm Blast mine is pretty straightforward. Throw it down, something walks over it. And then, yeah, throw, 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 throw and then. Hold it down. That has always been a decent bolt. And that gets supported even more the moment you've got the storm. Storms? Mistaken? However, everything I'm saying right now is 100% guesswork, but that is definitely a maybe. This one does about 6 damage. That's definitely a maybe. Definitely, definitely a maybe. Okay. Now for the next one. So we've got explosive trap. So traps, as far as I know, they don't get a... Yeah, they blow up on their own eventually. Don't want that. Double strike, don't want that. Viper strike, what's that? Avoiding some even physical damage to chaos damage and inflicting poison. Great bomb modifiers to scale. Mm -hmm. I'm not a biggest fan of melee. Okay, so that I obviously need a bow for. So I'm just quickly gonna run back to town. I know there's a lot of shit that I'm dumping outside, but I wanna choose a starting skill. Carry that through basically the entire game. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a stack of that. And I'm going to have that's it. So I just need to change the colors and the shit. Yeah. So, yep, let's open this up. We just need to change the colors so I can get green on So we all know this one. Caustic arrow. Yep. Used that before. So I don't want that either. Nice shot. That's got zero. That was an area that converts physical damage to cold in a target, converts physical damage. Damage to cold in a cone behind the target. Um, burning arrow, nope, that's what I'm saying. Back, thank you. Burning arrow, it's also something we start off with. Splitting steel, deal strike, over a lash. Arrow. Could potentially, potentially end up being very good if I can start adding certain elements to it. How much damage is it? Multiple arrows at different targets. That is definitely a maybe. Definitely a acoustic arrow. No. I'm not interested in that. I don't want that many times. Crossblade. Spectral throw. Okay, so where's the rest of these? Oh. Melee, blast, melee based things. Ethereal knives. Okay, so let's take off the bow. Take this on. Cobra Lash. What does Cobra Lash need? Cobra Lash needs just dagger or a claw. 
Ah, is a blue player somewhere with shine between enemies. Let's test that. Go grab a cloak quickly. Still alive, are we? Have a cloak. Yeah, there's a dagger. Not a dagger, that's a dagger. One and sword, dagger, cloak, and can strike cloth of dexterity. Yeah, we're just gonna grab it because not. And then we do that. Just run and test. Very sharp, I say. Okay, so where was it? Uh, it's a cobra lash. What is cobra lash? Uh, I think we need to find it. So it says, buys a poisonous projectile based on your weapon that will chain between enemies, requires a dagger or a claw. Okay, so it actually purposely bounces that. Could be something that I want to try. First with something like Onslaught, maybe. And then because that's doing damage, so that is projectile and chaos. Attack projectile chaos. That's definitely a maybe. Uh, Crossblades. No, definitely not. I don't like that. Your strike is going to be pretty self-explanatory. You strike twice. Could be. Looking steel. I don't have a skill active right now. Let's just do this check. Yeah, it's off out of harm's way again. Split throw. A spectral throw. Okay, forward. Forward comes back, don't want it. I've done that before as well. Give you light. Ooh. Eyes of Arc of Nice. I could see for no use of the cost that each deal physical damage. Hold on just a second. Now, okay. Beats. Mana. What does this do? I have a single objective that splits on impact or target location. I have a sword or an axe. Let's quickly try this, see what this is all about. Let you just hit the old knives. Hold on. What? No, no. That's what I wanted. Let's try it. See what this does. And damage. Doesn't do the damage. It's going to be between that or that. So, this can go. This can go. This can go. This can go. Smite. That. That. I know this seems stupid. Everybody. What's Cobra Lash? It is between enemies or It's one of these three that I want to use. I'm not sure which one yet. I think let's do that. I want to test how this looks and how it feels. I do like the fact that it's bouncing and can do quite a bit of damage to other things. That's got a nice arc to it. Mm, not what I thought I was going to have to do. Go ahead and 
are. But that was not the biggest time. But I don't think I'm gonna go with three on it. So now it's between Cobra Lash. Now it's between Cobra Lash. So that's the stuff. So it's 19 damage and chain between wise dagger. What a chance to put the poison on him. Hey, let's test that. Let's see how this goes. I do like the bouncing between them. Let's get rid of this. Let's get, let's get rid of this. We're clearly not going to get material knives. We're not going to get this. And here's my big question Which one of these? Are? That. That. This. Feels like a pretty bad. I like that it bounces everywhere. Back to the same place. Single projectile that spreads an impact target. 1.2 attack damage modified to number of projectiles instead of applied to numbered. Modifies the number of projectiles instead of applied to number of target for damage per tweet. Chance to impel enemies on hit projectiles can split without hitting a target. I think we're gonna go with this. We're gonna run splitting steel and then we can upgrade later. I want to keep this because that is something I want to try definitely in the future, but for now, we can go away. Lash, I'm going to keep Cobra Lash. Don't want that either. You bounce nicely, but I'm gonna keep that. That I'll get now, and then flame dash. Those two things are going to go further on. Now, so I use attack, projectile, AOE, and physical. And that is a. Yeah. So. So that is attack, projectile, AOE, and physical. So spell damage is going to be useless to me. Increased mana regeneration, always good. Increased attack speed and dexterity. Increased project damage, definitely. Attack speed, increased movement speed, and then we go into increased projectile damage. Now, increased accuracy rating, increased projectile damage and 20% dexterity. This clearly reads as attack projectile AOE and physical. So I don't see how this doesn't benefit. One way to check if that's projectile damage. So currently 10.6. Do that. Do I? Go to 12 point. So it works. So that makes sense. I think this is all guesswork at this point. But I feel like that is correct. But once again, I don't have the skill and or knowledge to be able to 100% say if this is a build that is viable or if it's going to fail within the next couple of seconds. But I do like that splitting. Give me some distance. Quite a bit of AOE, and that can always be upgraded. Definitely gonna need some work, but increased movement speed is nice. Another increased movement speed, and then on to the this projectile. Potentially, be good. potentially, not good. Probably, not. but there's only one way to figure that out. But that I do like. 
that jumping between the targets means we get bigger. Also not the worst sign in the world. And these are just gonna get so I still gonna try. I know one of my main things is gonna be dirty. We are gonna want to balance up some um strength and intelligence as well, but how much I don't I don't know what complementing skills we are going to use. Onslaught I can imagine could work. How much damage would I lose? All these questions and nobody to give me answers but that's exactly the way i want it i don't want answers i don't want to find out just yes it's gonna work no it's not gonna work i'm gonna figure out for myself if it is or if it isn't going to work why or why not at this point i can actually take that that I should be good. Trial and error. That's all this is right now. So if you're looking for a build or something decent, this probably ain't it. This is 100% experimental. Okay, so the initial damage on this is pretty bad. What I want to do is go back. I do realize that I have got zero support in terms of this, so I want to see what kind of support in terms of this work and complement this, if any. I'm going to know that is by checking. Yes. So, let's have a look. Crash deal, Grover. But that's true, I will not have any support. I have any support yet. The only support gen that I've got is this. And it will work on this. The on split would work, so let's just. What the fuck is this now? Okay. Something new for me. I don't know what that is. Goodbye. It's the only one I can get, so we're just gonna run that. Uh -oh, and see if that works. Now, why can't I use that? Skill can't be used. Is this automatic? Fuck. We're just gonna have to try and cheese this as much as we can. So, the weapon of choice on splitting steel is a sword or an axe. Now, does a two handed axe work for this? And then also, okay, so the supplies will random elemental damage. Could be nice, could be very nice. Okay, so it's definitely not the most hardest hitting skill, straight out the back, but. Maybe it's something we can make it powerful. We'll have to see. Not any areas. Are they gonna work or it's not? the fact that it automatically seeks the target. That I like. Okay, there's a cap or is this gonna be just gonna run that for now. It's not something we're gonna do permanently but it's something. Uh gloves. Oh, 
take those gloves for now instead. And start doing that distance. No, so far this isn't horrible. From here, share endurance friendly parts as with your party members is useless for me. Increase skill effect duration. Maybe increase projectile damage. Get rid of it. Let me get into part things over there. It's a basic jewel socket. Raising rating and 10% all elemental resistances. That's good to have. We're not going to go totems. Duration might not be horrible. Life out this way. I do feel most of it's going to be down in this direction. Down this way. This goes towards attack speed. So. Only penalty. Okay. Fine, once again, that one. Difficult. I'll keep him at bay. This needs to be. So hold on, this does. 6 to 11, this is 4 to 30. Obviously, going better. However, I do need to leave the link. So we're just going to do that for now. I think we've got the damage. Should have gone up a little bit, as it has. Range on this is not bad either. Look, there's a, there's a potential here. Very much a potential. But I'm definitely have to get split into more. Not too much DPS. And I don't think Onslaught is going to be the best answer for that. I think that might have to come through the Ascendancy. I'm not going to be able to follow the same ascendancy trial as what I can with the Huntress. I'm going to have to see what's available. But for now, let's go back to the time as well. I'd almost stop believing. Silver flask, it's not even a crucible. Now supports it. Who does support doesn't? Elemental Apply elements, ailments. Surge, comes to poison, pierce support. That might be nice. That might be very nice. Because then I should be able, it should split, pierce, and then move on to other targets. I don't know if it works that way, but it might. Chance to bleed, also, also, potentially very good. And recall call splitting still doesn't work. Momentum. Okay, so volley support doesn't work with that, so that's actually something interesting. So, phantasm support, peer support, and chance to bleed. Those three might be interesting too. So for now, I'm going to take peer support, put that on, and then I'm going to take phantasm just to test it. Uh, dash, I'm going to put on as well, just so that we've got it. And then the other one was chance to bleed support. Go. Now, I do realize that on that, I don't actually have anything to do this with. That will work. Now we just want to look at these. Take care. I know this is wasting a lot, but I need to test this for my own sanity. So we've got breaking steel. We have got peer support. 
No, we can't do that. Because otherwise, that. And it's got a chance to bleed. If I roll that, I'm wrong. But, but, oh, I can't actually rock. That has only got that. That also supports that. Hmm. Okay, so we could potentially turn this into another green. Was it green? I've got looking still. I want to bleed. Do I want the support or do I want the prisoner? No, no. So I want a red green. Red, green, green, that, 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 that. Does that work? Yes, all of those are on. So there's chance to bleed, there's support, and there's that. No, unless I try it. Maybe come on, no, flame dash will. Maybe later, because I don't have the intelligence for that. Sell off all the units. He wants us to clear out that, and he's got a green two lovely units. No question. Official for me to check in one of the fight. The damage goes. So I do get. But I might potentially want to run shield or something. Don't actually. Now I don't have any speed. That's up. Stay sharp out there. Okay. That little help out there. Take that and that. And dash I'll keep Take care. Take it away. Let's go test this out. Once again, hundred percent just a test. No idea if this is gonna work or not, but Chance to bleed. So I specifically want to try and get my chance to bleed up as well. So if we do this and I have a look at look. Uh, critical strike. Where's chance to bleed? Chance to inflict bleed from main hand hits 25%. That's a one of four. Not too bad. Potentially be good. Okay, so it doesn't stop them in their track. Kind of concerning. Range is kind of decent. I have nothing more to give. And that's going to be a big thing on this. Potentially. This is not bad so far. Potentially something. Potentially. Alright, pull up some shit. That hatchet missed. Here's the question. It's a one-handed act. Fighting resistance. Maybe, maybe. I know this is going to be difficult because I don't have the single target damage yet. I'm hoping this is something that gets stuck in. Right now, I've honestly got no idea. Yeah, that single target damage really ain't great. I learned, I 
We're gonna have to definitely find a way to do more from single targets. if I like this hit or not. Like the multiple target hits, but it's not completely targets. It's... Mm -hmm. I need to have a look at what those projectile... This entire pivot pool is going to be decided by what kind of vehicles they are. And I am squishy, very squishy. Possibility to try and motor our way through this. But I highly doubt that that's going to be a possibility. Not actually getting it. Could have been a nice damage increase. We can ignore that for now. Back to this guy. Just that one little upgrade actually took us quite a bit further. Corporal coal ring. Chain belt. Rat boots. Okay, please, one of you have me beat the rest of this maximum life. I don't think the coal resistance for that. That's going to give me strength. Fine. Don't want that. Don't. That's going to give me maximum life. But for now, that is okay. Single target damage still sucks ass. Don't actually know how this is. An error. Okay, I'm gonna skip this for now, and I think I want to start going down this route. Projectile damage, air resistance, wood resistance, and lightning resistance. Those three would be nice to have. More this damage plus this 10% alone. Increase skill effect duration. Skill effect. Increase skill effect duration and reduce skill effect duration. I don't know if that's going to make this. I 
pray with me. Yes, we'll be life as we come. I do do physical attacks. There is least this life might not be bad. Noble accuracy. It's that the elemental damage move explosion. Okay, so I think that's the plan. Come down the center of the park. Honestly, I can't tell you if this is going to work or not. I am behind this man. He's a but I mean, we were able to clear this. I have failed clearing the affected pools with, with metabolts. Probably lack of skill, but still. It felt comfortable ish. These guys are worth it just simply for the XP. And now, right now, I know that damage up. See what thought the damage sucks ass. Definitely something we're gonna close It's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Who's this? Twenty-five percent you're bleeding. Still killing Terran and one in four. No, it's not quite hard. Twenty-five percent work. That's how my brain. Got a good feeling about this. Okay, so now we give frostborn air trap go to strike. I'm gonna take that kill scheme dash and got dash. I'm just gonna take that. A necromancer. Take the book. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's road. No, not so far. Except, we can stay. So, one handed axes. Yep, gonna have one, but figure them out. Thank you for that off. That on. Yeah, that's a bit of a that instead. Stay sharp out there. Hello. So we sell purchase item. Brother support that I'll pick up. Only the bait. Fifty seventy summon pack. Large archer is gonna give me apply to skills. Large archer. Oh. Support. Work on skill. Steal the thing. Oh, 
good with that stuff. Oh, unless there's something that starts to bleed, starts to poison. Starts to poison. 40% chance to poison. Hit. Does this increase? Maximum 2% more damage with 25% chance. It's that percentage of the go up. Test it. Would be a very stupid way to test it, but quality of a gem. So that didn't do anything. Leave that just for now. Mm -hmm. Farewell. Go into the catacombs. Check. Something like need a support of some kind. Where we can sit down. What is that important? Those things, those things. Please kill. I have nothing more to do. Ain't great, for sure. on this might be nice. Great, not shit. I'm still trying to determine whether this is somewhat good or not. Or it's horrible once again. I'm telling you. More with less. Once again, I'm completely shit just not completely amazing either. Oh. Questions. Questions, 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 questions. Superior decoy totem. Could this potentially be? Could potentially be attractive? I do that. I shoot for that. Does this totem do any damage? So the totem could be just this. Almost near my enemies to attack it. Okay. To make my ass safe, but now.
not sure if that's good or bad. Totem might be nice, but a little bit of damage output and it aggroes them. But also, I don't know if that's accurate. I'm gonna go take check trying to figure out this monster whether this is actually viable or not. So, let's see, 39. Fine. 41 there has to be that's going to be increased elemental resistances if i grab those three as well so eight into uh, eight into cold and eight into already that already adds a lot can i not have but a main survivability not much though sure Trying to keep my eyes safe. Feels the same. It's not doing the job that I needed to, but it's also not doing shit either. I'm conflicted. Okay. 10 to 15. Gain one mana per kill. That's the flat out upgrade, so. This I can't use, but it would be nice. So many questions. Hoping that as I grow, if answers on where was anything viable at some point. Something that's going to do single time damage. So, I can go under. So that would be for the bow. Hand rope is going to be his shield. Okay, that's fine. Not bad for now. It's not horrible, but it's not great. To keep them focused over there. Can I not have but a moment's respite? Actually, bet.
control. Ain't that bad. This shit is going to be single talk. I don't really have to aim with this either. More so just it's everything that is there. I'm gonna make my way to Prisoner's Gate. Single terminal, single target damage is shit. Single target is really bad, really, really bad. I can find a way to increase that depth quite a bit. Oh, well, it's this. And to import it. Okay, so it's already good on everything. Yeah, I don't need to try and waste with that. Not. That part is keeping me safe. That that I'm worried about though. How one is the skill transfer. Not horrible. Can I not have but a moment to try? Definitely. That's on That should. Moments where it feels shit, and there's moments where it honestly doesn't. Uh, just this generic life, austerity, it's better in every single way. Two life to pay, one damage. So, so that uh, seven. Better. Not a solution yet, but it's better. It might be painful to watch because there's probably people that already know if this is going to be an absolute failure or success. But for someone like myself, I have to. Um, Right now, I honestly I just don't know. Check these moments that it looks so well. That I think it's great, and so I'm just like, this is going to be an absolute failure. But I don't know. See, now I have to stop from this point. What am I looking for? Am I looking to get increased skill effect duration? 
I want to get these resistances early on, get them out of the way while my tribe is solely focused on damage right now. Armor strength, increased physical damage. Now, that's just it because this. Skill that needs fucking skill is physical as well as projectile. And projectile. Is strength plus physical. Let's see. If I take this, this is currently off. So, 49. I was really stupid, but I need to test this myself. That's 47. If I click on that, there's more strength. Yes, I get that. If I follow this physical damage tree, into this, not only will I get armor, I'll get strength and I'll get increased physical damage. This skill that I'm using does both. Deco and physical, so that means my overall damage output should be more. They have effect next skill. Just need something to do. And then this is increased mana, increased life, increased life. Increased life and maximum life. Damage bonus applies to projectile damage, attack damage, as well as melee damage. The iron grip that could potentially be just a really, really good point. Maximum Mamma, Mamma, Mamma. 10% damage taken recoup this mana, that could be good. We are going to have to start moving down towards that, but also at the same time potentially start coming around this way. Two hundred mana. See, I don't two hundred mana. Two hundred mana. It's going to be difficult because there's no one route to go. Increased attack physical damage. You see that it might be beneficial. Let's get to this point. There's gonna be physical play. Attack speed. This also is increased projectile damage. So I want to try and make target. Okay. Stick around here for now. See where I can go. Done that. It's gonna be a goal to try and go around that way. Suppress spell damage, suppress spell damage, increase evasion and 100% evasion rating. That's not bad. This one all the way around is gonna give me life down there, and that's gonna give me strength damage bonus applies to projectile attack damage as well. State requires no hindrance bonus to evasion rating. Okay. I want to get these though. There it is going to be. This is going to be two, three. I get that. Ah, three, three, two, one, two, three. I get that circle. Twenty-four percent increase in physical damage. I get that circle. Come across into this. Potentially start moving down in this direction. Figure this out. Well, definitely be figuring this out. Yes. That's just how my mind is making sense of all of it. Once again, it could be completely off. Okay. Or it could be spot on. There's only one way we're gonna know. Okay, move this along. Let's grab this. Right. right. Them, so that is currently all right. Fly down to 51. Okay, welcome. Okay, so I think that's as good a place as any to end the stream.
Once again, it might not have been the most eventful stream, but it was the basis of figuring out how we're going to move forward. This entire build could be a, con a total flop, a complete flop, but we're only going to know that by trying it. Don't want to follow a build. I have followed two builds now. I enjoyed it, but there's a lot that I didn't figure out. There's a lot that was done for me. There's a lot that was follow, but not understand. So that's what I'm trying to change up. Now, I'm trying to take something that is not necessarily meta, which you can see in every single build. And I'm trying to see how it can be made viable. Also, while doing that, is trying to understand for myself how to go from point A to point B. Because like I said, the last two builds that I had, people had been doing things for me. I had one of my viewers actually spend a shit ton of divines building me some OP gear. And while that's fun and experiencing it and that got me to the point where I got to experience maps for the first time, made it to T60 maps for the first time, it was awesome. But I had no understanding of how to go from ending the acts to getting there yourself. Actually, how to get past Act 6 without assistance. Because prior to the assistance that I received, I had never made it past Act 6. So now I want to see based on everything that I have learned, if I've learned anything at all, and with potential guidance here and there, with some explanation, if I can actually get a build there myself that was not provided to me by somebody else. That's the goal. And I hope you enjoy watching me try and figure it out. But thank you very much for joining into the live stream. All my past live streams will be posted on my YouTube channel, so go and subscribe, show some love and support. Help spread the word for this channel. Bring in some more viewers. I really would appreciate it. The more we grow, the better content I can provide for you guys. But until then, I hope you have a lovely day or night, depending on where you're from. Look after yourselves and be safe. But until then, 